Mount Memorial Seary Church in Rockford, Illinois. My name is Pastor Roland Brown. We just thank God for another day. Yes. We start by singing the song. We'll come this morning and wait for my stay.
heaven and earth. In Jesus Christ's only Son, our Lord, was received by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he rose first from the dead. He has ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. As we pray, the prayer of confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and beware of our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do urge to repent and hardly sorry for being on this doings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past. Grant that we may hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
and that you hear us. You hear us. We pray for the sick and shame. We pray for those who need deliverance. Yes, sir. And we pray for the lost. Yes. And they may receive your salvation. In Jesus Christ we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So.
Lord, though we have prayed and sang, we ask you, Lord, to touch this message. Yes, God. Open my mouth that I may speak. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our hearts. We may do those things that are pleasing in thy sight. And we'll give you the praise, the thanks, and the glory. In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the name. In the name. Jesus Christ, we pray. Jesus Christ. Church, say amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. On this time, I ask you that you find a Bible and open your Bibles to the last book of the Bible called the Book of Revelation. Open and see what God is saying. Chapter 2. Now I just want you to see one verse. One verse. Chapter 2, verse 1. I've already read this in the King James Version. But let me let you hear it in other versions. In the New Revised Standard Version. It reads, to the angel, the church of Ephesus, write the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. And from the New Living Translation, it says, write this letter to the angel of the church of Ephesus. This is the message from the one who the seven stars in his right hand and one who holds, who walks among the seven gold lampstands. From the New International Version, it says, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, these are the works of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven gold lampstands. And then from the complete Jewish Bible, which says the angel uh, to the angel of the Messianic community in Ephesus, right? Here is the message from one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden gold menorahs. And last, in God's word translation says to the messengers or to the messenger of the church of Ephesus, right? The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven gold lampstands, says, from that text comes this message, fresh revelation of church in the book of Revelation. Amen. Fresh revelation of church in the book of Revelation. Twenty six Sundays. Mm. Twenty six Sundays of no regular church service. Now on this night, first Sunday of the year called 2020, God has called me to send fresh revelation during this COVID-19 pandemic. <coughs> Not only to Miles Memorial City Church, at 1035 Michigan Avenue in Rockville, Illinois. But to all who hear this message, yes. Facebook, YouTube, those who have this on their phones, fresh revelation, not something 
something that's stale, warmed over, mm. fresh revelation. John the Apostle is shown in chapter one of this book how Christ looks to glorify incarnate yeah. Christ in chapter one. And Jesus told him to write what he saw, which was Jesus in his glorified body, mm -hmm. the things which are, which shares the state, the conditions of the seven churches, and the things which will happen. Yeah. Things that will take place in the future, which includes the return of Jesus Christ, the end of this world that we know of, the beginning of the, of the new heaven and the new earth. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus says he walks among the seven gold lampstands. He told us that those were the seven churches. Yeah. He also told us that there are seven stars in his right hand which are the seven angels of the seven churches. He and Cher interpreted that angel were those who were giving the message mm. to the churches. Mm. And the interpretation of that is the pastors. Yeah. The ones who are responsible of bringing God's message to Jesus' churches. Yeah. And when he said to the first church, unto the angel of the church yeah. of Ephesus, there's fresh revelation in that particular pericope or that particular passage that we need to remember and to live by. Sometimes we hear the word church and we only think, oh, that's just a gathering of just some church folk getting together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when people say church, they think of, oh, we had church today. Mm -hmm. Said you know, either the preacher preached, hollering, screamed, and the choir sung their song, and everybody was just happy. Mm -hmm. But in the book of Revelation, there are some things that we need to catch yeah. about that word church. In this time where we can't have church like we used to have church. Mm -hmm. Number one, the church of Ephesus was a real place historically. Mm -hmm. It was a living church about 40 miles from where John was exiled on the Isle of Patmos. It's a real church with real people at that time, 98 AD. They, they, they gathered together in Jesus Christ for fellowship. They, they, they praised and prayed. They heard this message and was with the Holy Spirit was there. And that's a fresh revelation that there was a church who heard that first message yeah. that Jesus was given. And not only to that church, but to seven other and six other churches. Yeah. But let's go deeper. For 1 Corinthians 6.25 says, that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And the church is in you. Amen. You are the church. And there are some people who only know your church by you. Yes. 
They've never been to your church. Never gone to the place that you usually have gone to. Mm -hmm. But they know church, your church, by you, only you. We remember the mama used to say, we'll make our family look bad. <laughs> and mama was saying that, you know, you you part of the family and 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 what you do out on the streets reflects our family. And so what you do in the streets reflects the church that you attend. And we need to understand that. That people may not be able to come to church now, but they know Miles Memorial, or they know different cures, different places you go by you yes. in your own name. Yeah. It's a fresh revelation. Mm -hmm. But let's go deeper. Number three, Jesus spoke to the church of Ephesus. He spoke to the church as a whole and not just two or three people mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, if I ask you to call out all the membership of your church, say Miles, many people could not call every member of the church. And if they try, they will forget somebody. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they don't see them all the time. They will forget somebody. Yeah. They will forget somebody that walked down the aisle and gave their lives to Jesus Christ yeah. and his church. And so we must understand that the whole membership of any church is one whole. Understand where it says the church of Ephesus and looked at that church as one church. And sometimes we forget that whoever's in your church is a part of you and you're a part of them. Yes. We forget that when we go out, we go as, out as the body of Christ, as one local church. Mm -hmm. Whether it's five, or 1,005, we come as one church, Amen. one local church. Amen. That's a fresh revelation. And we need to pray for our members mm -hmm. because they are part of us and we are part of them. Amen. And we sometimes want to say, oh, 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 I'm doing right. We must understand we need to pray for other people they do right. Amen. Because some people don't know anybody about church, but not just by you, by everybody else. Mm -hmm. So we need to pray that everybody else is doing right also. The whole church. Amen. The whole church. The whole church. Fresh Revelation. But let's go deeper. Each church in Revelation represents a church that's happening right now. Right now, not just in AD 98, not just in 2000, but in 2020, mm -hmm. the church of right now. Amen. Jesus is talking to the church of right now. Amen. <clears throat> and we sometimes, we don't want to hear him sometimes. Sometimes we want to tune him out. Mm. Both as individuals and as a body, mm -hmm. we want to tune him out. We want to put him on our voicemail. We want to go on and catch him some other time. But I come to tell you, mm -hmm. Jesus is call, talking to you right now. Amen. Right now. Open your ears. Amen. He's talking to you right now. The church of right now. Each and every church in that second and third chapter of Revelation, Jesus gave them seven sayings. One, a saying, a uh, address.
the same saying that he coming and says right to that church. Mm -hmm. He shares an epithet saying describing himself. He has a praying saying sharing the positive of that church. He has a blame saying rebuking the negative of that church. Yeah, watch this. Every church got a positive and a negative. There is no perfect church. No. In that book of the seven churches, there's only two out of the seven that didn't have any blame. But I didn't know most churches, now all churches, got some blame. He comes to that church as a coming saying that you need to start repenting what you're doing right now. Amen. Or oh, I'm coming to judge you. I'm coming to judge you. He shares a hearing saying, a call to hear, where he said that the Spirit is talking to all the churches, not just yours, but to all the churches. And a victory saying, saying that promise you victory, that you overcome. Yeah. We as mouths are called to do a great work, just as the seven churches. Yeah. One more fresh revelation, one more thing about that word church. Jesus spoke to church in that one city. Not just churches in that one city, but church. What are you saying? How do you look at that in, in the context of Rockford? You can share it in two ways. One, that right for itself is a combination of all churches. Mm -hmm. And he's talking to one church. Amen. And we're not divided as denominations. Mm -hmm. We're not divided as your church and my church and this church and I, we, we do everything in this church. Mm -hmm. Not divided, but one church in one city. Yeah. You ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. That the personality of Rockford is one church. Mm -hmm. And what's going on in other churches affects your church. And what's going on here affects that church. And then we look upon it as one church. Or your, your church represents all the churches I'm trying to say. In Rockford, there is no difference. And we sometimes want to break, make a difference. And my church is going on. I, I, my, my church has is, is got more things than you do. During this time of pandemic, that's, that don't make any sense anymore. The largest church has the same number of people now than the smallest church. Mm -hmm. Zero, almost zero, to less than none, or none. We got to think about that. That's our close on this communion Sunday. It's a rainy day outside. The day we, we are unable to have our drive-by Holy Communion. Why used to give to anybody that drives by and give them the bread and the cup. On this first Sunday, I want you to think about that, those five revelations about the church. Mm -hmm. The local church of 98 AD, you yourself personal as the church. All members in your church is one church. All churches came to check up. Right now. Right now. Mm. And church as the whole city as one church. Amen. Pray.
prayer. In the book of Revelation, all that's going on will get us together yes. as one church.
we ask you that this message would touch somebody's soul. Amen. That they may get saved, touch somebody's heart, who knows you, will understand what church really means. Yeah. That Lord, we will go out and tell others before you come back again. Yes, God. Before you reign forever and ever. Before it's too late. Yes. We say this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we close this service. You heard the invitation of discipleship. Now I want to say that tell others about the messages that you've been hearing from the book of Revelation to somebody. I cannot do anything without the Spirit sharing and doing this. Amen. I thank God of Miles Memorial City Church, 1035 Michigan Avenue, Rockford, Illinois. And if you got blessed today on this message, say me. Amen. Amen. Text it on YouTube, text it on Facebook. Say amen. You got an amen out of this message as we sing. Praise God from Jesus.